Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I'll be discussing about the pH concept. Now, what does the pH concept talk about? The pH concept simply talks about the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution expressed using numbers ranging from 0 to 40. Now, the pH concept talks about the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution expressed using numbers ranging from 0 to 40. Using numbers ranging from 0 to 14. The scale or number on ranging from 0 to 14 on which the acidity or alkalinity of the solution is expressed is called the pH scale. Is called the pH scale. Now, the term pH simply means potential of hydrogen. Potential of hydrogen. And it was first coined by a man called Sore Pedal Lorit. Sorensen in the year 1909. Okay, the 10 pH was coined by Soren Pedal Lorit Sorensen in the year 1909. Now, mathematically, the pH talks about pH is equal to negative log reading to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration now you can also write it like the pH is equal to plus log to the base 10 of 1 over H plus okay mathematical Okay, you can use either of these equations. Now, writing this base 10 sometimes does not mean, okay, we can just say our pH scale is simply negative log within. We know log is to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration, or we say the pH is equal to negative log within to into H3O plus concentration. Now, what is H3O plus concentration called? Or what does the term H3O plus mean? It means hydronium ion or oxonium ion. It is not hydrozonium, it is hydronium or oxonium ion. Now we can our pH formula can be this also can be this. Okay. Now talking on the pH concept. Now we should all take note that for acids we talk about pH. Okay. For bases we talk about pOH. For acids we talk about pH. For bases. We talk, we talk about POH. So, we should take note of this formula for POH, which is negative log reading to the base 10 into OH minus. Okay? Now, we have other formulas on the pH concept. So, basically, this is one formula, and this is also the same as this. This is another formula. Now, we should take note that addition of pH plus pOH gives us 14. And multiplication of the ions of hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion. This OH is the hydroxide ion is equal to 1 times 10 raised to the power 
of minus 14. Now, we should take note that H plus talks about hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion from our acid bases and salt. Hydrogen ion, they say that acid is a substance which when dissolves in water, produce hydrogen ion as the only positive ion. So, now, in chemistry, bracket simply means concentration. Bracket simply means concentration. So, when we write it as bracket H+, plus, so we mean hydrogen ion concentration. Okay? Hydrogen ion concentration. Same as the OH minus. We know it is the hydroxide ion, but we know it is the hydroxide ion without the bracket, but putting the bracket, we get hydroxide ion concentration. Hydroxide ion concentration. Okay? Hydroxide ion concentration. Now you can see basically these are some formulas we need to take note on the pH concept. And remember, the pH concept talks about the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution expressed using numbers ranging from 0 to 14. These numbers ranging from 0 to 14 on which the acidity or alkalinity of a solution is expressed is called a pH scale. Now, we should take note of this. Now, when we move from 0 to 6.9, we say that solution is acidic. But when we say 7, we say it is neutral. But when it is from 7.1 to 14, we say it is alkaline in nature. Or you say it is basic in nature. So this is a question now. This is a question. Given two solutions, solution A and solution B, solution A has a pH of 3 and solution B has a pH to be 5. Which of these solutions is more acidic? Which of these solutions is more acidic? You can see the arrow moving towards 0 and you can see the arrow moving towards 14. So basically, with this concept now, we say pH theory, which is solution A, is more acidic. This one is more acidic than this because you have a lower pH. When your pH is low, we say it is acidic. But when it is high, from 7.1 to 14, we say it is basic. So when we have something like this, solution A and also solution B, and solution A has a pH to be 8, and solution B has the pH to be 13. Which of them is more alkaline? The one with the higher value, because you are moving to a zero, towards 13. So this one will be more alkaline, or you see, basic. So basically, these are the first concepts we need to understand about the pH. On subsequent videos, I shall explain the calculations on the pH concept. Thanks for watching.